بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد قال الله تعالى في قرآنه المجيد بعد أن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا صدق الله العظيم My topic for today is how we can guard our tongues and a narration from Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa Why is it so important to guard our tongue and what's the value? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the Quran, I mean in hadith, Man, man yudman li, man yudman li ma bayna lihyahi wa ma bayna rijalayhi he who guarantees protection of two things what is between his jaws what is between his teeth and what is between his legs why Rasulullah is talking about this why is he giving such emphasis on the tongue and he says he who protects his tongue I guarantee him Jannah because what well, we do nowadays is we just utter we just utter words that just come to us we don't think before we speak you know when a, when a person gets upset or gets mad he just utters things at other people he doesn't think what he's saying you know the some of the scholars they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually created 32 teeth to guard your tongue and you should think 32 times before you open your mouth. Why? Because you can either get out of the fold of Islam with one word. You can cancel your marriage with one word, with the utter of one word. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that I can guarantee that person, he who controls his tongue, I guarantee him Jannah. And like that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Qur'an that in uh, Surah Bani Israel, وَكُلِّ عِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ That our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell my slaves, وَكُلِّ عِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ Whatever they talk, they say the best. إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَنْزَقُ بَيْنَهُمْ the shaitan comes when when one brother, when one Muslim brother fights with another Muslim brother, sh shaitan comes in and he f fulfills this bad image in another person. You know, he wants these Muslims brothers so they can lose each, uh, each other's reward. As we all know, at the time of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was one person that was cursing at Abu Bakr as Siddiq. He was cursing at Abu Bakr Siddiq and he's saying things after things about him, his family, his mother and what so what not. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's watching Abu Bakr Siddiq and he's smiling. Until Abu Bakr Siddiq said one word. And what did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? He went away. He walked away. So when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu saw this, he became very afraid. He said, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam just left. What did I do? He ran to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Ya Habib, O oh my beloved, Ya Rasulullah, why did you leave? He said, O oh Abu Bakr, when that person was cursing at you, when he was swearing and he was talking bad about your family, the malaikas were there and they were replying back to that so-and-so person. They were saying the same exact curses and swears to that person until you opened your mouth until you uttered that one word the malaikas left and I cannot be in a place where there is no malaikas just because of that one word he said the malaikas left that is the importance of how we can guard our tongue Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also he talks about the qualities of the sahabas وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا That when there is useless talk, 
when there is talk, useless talk or vain talk, what did the Sahabas do? They walked away from there. They did not get, get involved. Because they, they emphasized, they knew the meaning of this hadith that he who protects his tongue, he who protects his tongue will guarantee Jannah. And that's what the Sahabas wanted. You know, the guarantee that we can enter Jannah by just protecting our tongue. You know, it's a, it's a really small part of our body, the tongue. But Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that every morning, the limb, each limb of your body ask, Oh tongue, please, please don't hurt us. Because it, it is you who causes pain to all of us. It is what? It is the tongue. The tongue is, a, is something that can bring people and brothers and families together. And it is the same tongue that can break people apart. They can break families apart. They can break people's hearts. Yes, it looks soft to us. Its texture is very soft. But it's sharper than a sword. That is the tongue. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, Prote protect yourself. I will guarantee you Jannah. If you can guarantee me protection of that. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al-akhir, fal yaqul khayran aw liyasmut. That he, Man kana yu'minu billah, he who believes in Allah, and the Day of Judgment, خير, Say something good, or just keep, stay quiet. This is the call of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because he knew from 1400 years back then that what the tongue is, how sharp it can be used against a Muslim, and what, what it can do. So may Allah give us tawfiq to act upon whatever has been said. May Allah give us tawfiq to actually protect our tongue. And one more thing is when we speak something ill and something wrong, it has a direct effect in our heart. It is what we speak of, it has an effect to our heart. So why, why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying protect the tongue? Because if we talk wrong, then wrong will come into our heart. But if we talk good, then only good and khair will go into our heart. And saying that we are in, the, in this Tazkiyah workshop, what are we here? We are here to work on ourselves and also remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we utter the word of Allah from our tongues, Allah will come into our heart. But if we utter the word of shaitan, then shaitan will come to our heart. May Allah protect us from this.